Good morning, guys. I'm back. Florida is doing really good. A lot of expansion out there. The building being built out right now. We've got permits starting up. What we're gonna do there is a really massive showroom with vehicles for sale and a whole bunch of other stuff. Along with that too, getting another building. I spent the last two weeks in Florida, but also kind of check out other areas across the country. There's some cool spots out there. I've got all the way from the East Coast to the West Coast fully covered with service centers. And when we opened up the East Coast, we gave them an alternative for service work instead of mom and pop shop that doesn't really work on Hummers on a daily basis. Now having that additional shop centrally located, it'll make a big difference. So we got that going on. Good to be back in San Diego. So if you could get me up to speed. Which other ones were we working on? Have we been working on? I can't, it's Monday morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's up, Jason? What's up? You gotta go that close with the camera, huh? Yep. I freaking show up and like within minutes, he's got like invading my personal space. There's, there's like a bubble with Jason where you need like a good 15, 20 feet. It's not six feet, it's way more. That six feet I'm is like all bullshit with CDC. The I'm like 15 to 20 you. is more <laughs> like the appropriate spacing so you don't get, you know. The bugs can jump like within like six feet. Dude, that camera's like six inches away from his face. <laughs> All right, so uh, give me a rundown on what's going on. Obviously, blue truck. Is this the uh, John's truck? Yes, John's truck. Rad. Um, I walked by it earlier. Looks insane. Paint's all done. Yeah, color's crazy. Wow. Super nice. Looks super exotic in the sun. It's all shiny and metal flake in it. Rad. It looks dark in here. This is the same color, Jason, that we did on the hard top. Remember the hard top I built for myself a couple years ago? Oh yeah. Yeah. When yeah. I did donuts. Yes. 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 Yeah, that's the same exact color. Oh, so that's how I look in the sun. So when yeah. this thing gets in the sun, you'll see that green tint to it. This is actually a Rolls Royce color. So I bought a hard top, another hard top in Florida from a customer that wanted out of it. He ended up buying another customer's truck. We're in process building up his truck. He's like, oh, I like that truck. It's a wagon. So we sold him that one, took that his truck in on trade. So I got that one. And I'm thinking doing this color, but do a flat finish in it. Kind of like this over here. So do a flat finish, flat metallic, Rolls Royce blue, something like that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be unique. We did the conversion on this a year ago or so? Yeah, probably about a year. Customer's back and getting a ton of accessories on it. So what do we do on this truck? He's adding a roof rack with lights all the way around. He's swapping out all his china lighting for nice, rigid lighting. Right. Hey, Squirrel, you completely didn't even talk about what's happening in that truck. Just no. Paint and then veered off. Well, yeah, exactly. So that's all we're doing, just paint? No, my mind went over here. We were talking squirrel, about paint, squirrel, and then so, on this. Squirrel, squirrel, let's go back yeah. to the other truck. Why? So we can talk about the build. But this is a... And then we'll get to this one. Jason, <laughs> been killing me, bro, killing me. We've already built on that truck. Okay, so Duramax inversion, uh, wrapping up the steering components. Steering and I think some brakes. What are we doing on electrical for him? Is he getting a bunch of lights on here? He's still kind of up in the air on what he's doing. I know he's doing lights, but he doesn't know how many, what kind, where they're going. But I do know he wants to do lights. So but maybe yeah. we go the S-Pod route and yeah. they can just back to back daisy chain them, you know? Yeah, 100%, That's okay. the way to go. He's getting some new windshields, those are ordered. Upgrading his mirrors to alpha style. Full paint job, blacked out accessories. We've got the hinges on that are blacked out. Stainless steel hardware. Uh, what's he doing for rims and tires? He's kind of up in there right now. Okay. Our CNC is back up and running. So yeah. Offer our rims. While I was gone, we got a bunch of forgings coming in. 
20s as well as 18s. 18s are gonna take a little while because there's, I don't know, uh, casting or forging or whatever. I, I gotta make something there. So that's gonna be a little bit of time, but the 20s are, should be here this week. Nice. And as soon as the 20s show up, we can start cutting it on the mill. Can I scroll off now and show you rims or is that gonna bother yeah. you? Okay, come on. This is our last forging that we had in stock. This is one of the samples. We're gonna have different lettering that goes around here that you can change out, fully customizable. So you can do this design, different hardware in here, different colored hardware if you want to, different color rims, different badging on here. Like we have the Predator Forge on there, but then check this out. Central tire inflation on it and we could change that out to different script on there if you want to. So we're gonna have some options on the website, something that you need to design out. So our customers can take a look at their truck, play their color, and then putting on these rims on a whole simulator, and then they pick out their rim options. So they can go with uh, the stainless steel hardware on here, like the ARP, is it six points? Yeah, six or points, yeah. 12 points. 12 points? Or six, six or 12. I okay. think they have both, honestly. Yeah. There was one that I couldn't get, and I had to go with the other, I forgot what it was. But then we'll do like F911s, right. which are like a grade nine hardware. We'll do all kinds of different stuff. So we'll get those options up there too, Jason, so you can they can pick what they want, different colors. And then we're giving them the option to do custom branding on them, right? Mm-hmm. Like if they wanna have their logo or whatever on the... Yeah, yeah, definitely. And we have custom uh, center caps too that we're seeing, seeing out. Um, oh, check this out, this is rad. So we've got new badging. I don't know if you can see that. Hey, John, you got the... Yo, hey, Sir? you got the badging? Oh, uh, yeah, let me borrow that guy. Okay. Who's this guy? This is John. This is John. Nice. This guy. John started with us, what, like... Thanksgiving? Four months ago? Yeah, yeah. Actually, you started, and then like day two, we had the Christmas party. It was yeah, like that, yeah, 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 it was rad. So we're right in the deep end, we're like, okay, here's a whole That's Predator family. <laughs> oh, so you gotta view all of us in our prime. Yeah, and you didn't scare him away. Good job, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> John is running both CNC mills, doing all the design work. He actually just created new badging for us. Don't fault us here that the P broke off. This is a first prototype here, and then the second prototype here, and the third final finished product is gonna be over there a little bit different. This branding is gonna go on every Duramax converted truck. This thing turned out amazing, good job. Check this out, I wanna show you what it's gonna look like on a truck. Let's say we've done a Duramax inversion on the truck. We can take off this old 6.5 liter turbo diesel badging here, and then brand it with this guy right here. So very similar font. These are gonna be powder coated all black, inlay oxy color in the D-Max H1. And then it's also the same size as this Hummer badging over here. It can replace that one too if you want to. So there's some options. You can put this over here. You can put it on the side of the truck. Sorry, Jason, I'm all over the place. You could even go down here. So like whatever the customer wants, there's options with it. It's a perfect size for replacing badges on there. All of our customers are gonna benefit from it to differentiate our product line from other people. Shoot, lots of, lots of stuff going on. You guys did the vlog on this one while I was gone. Yeah, right now, uh, geared hubs are being rebuilt, 12Ks. Um, found some bad bearings inside, so we're replacing some of the bearings, the races inside of the geared hubs themselves. Uh, they prepped the A-arms, Fox shocks that are going on. Nice. Brush guards on. Absolutely beautiful Humvee. You guys did a really good job on this one. What are we doing over here? Oh, this is some service work. Um, and then swapping out headlights for LEDs. Okay. Nothing too, uh, too fancy on this one. Nice, nice. And then accessories going on here. Accessories. That's that roof rack we're waiting for, right? Yeah, six foot roof rack with lights all the way around. Um, this is an old build though. It is an old build. Mm -hmm. He had a bunch of Chinese lighting, I guess you could say on it. And so we're replacing all that with uh, like nice lifetime warranty rigid stuff. This guy also did our search and rescue tire carrier in the back. Oh, that's sick. This big 40. Wow. So he's got a full size matching spare. Conversion, bumpers, front and rear. Oh, so we did a conversion, then later sold it. 
And the new buyer is back a year later getting a bunch it was, of accessories. It was on consignment, we sold it, the new the new buyer oh, that's right. got a conversion. Yeah. And then we did like the bumpers and then he drove it for a little bit, came back, and now he's adding all the accessories. Yeah. yeah. And he's got some new new gauges in there as well. We have a lot of really cool customers and they keep coming back to us, you know, year after year. You're gonna see trucks here over and over again. And so they end up coming back after a year or so. We do service work on it, a bunch of upgrades. All right, let's go outside and see what's going on up there. Check out this H2, this thing's pretty sick. So Duramax conversion on it, coming up, right? It's supposed to be this week. What are we, oh, we're doing this week. Are we starting tonight? That, that's what I'd like to do, but we'll see about Cheetah because we're waiting on the exhaust. I guess still. Where's that? I gotta get with Aaron. Oh, okay, okay. With her. Okay. Um, are we painting it too? Yeah. We are? Yeah. Oh, crap. Yeah. What's wrong with this color? He doesn't like it. He wants to do Dodger blue. He's a huge Dodger fan, All huge right. LA guy. It's got a slant back kit too on it. Have you seen that? Check this out. Slant Jason. back kit on an H2. Nope. Jason? Nope. Ah. It's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, definitely different. Yeah. It kind of cuts down on visibility for sure. Well, with the Duramax inversion, you're not worried about what's behind you. <laughs> All right. So I've been gone. I've been working on a couple bigger projects, so I really haven't been able to focus on this. 99 with 30 some thousand miles on it with a P400 engine in there. We need to film this, Jason. I got an idea on it. I think what we're gonna do is list it two ways. Cause it has a P400, so I think what we should do is list it both ways. And if they want the Duramax engine in there, we'll do the Duramax right away for them. So that's cool. Have to wait 30 days or so, but we can film this later this week, Jason. H2, we're gonna be selling this thing. Went through it, got it dialed, right? Completely dialed in. Ready to sell, and the customer's like, ah, I'm kind of having seller's remorse. I may want to keep it. He's like, don't sell it just yet. Let yeah. me come in and drive it and take a look at it. And I may sell it, but I, I don't think I want to. So, which is cool. You know, I'm, right. I'm happy that he didn't make the mistake of selling it. Exactly. Yeah. Because this thing would sell right away. Yeah, it's, it's a, a nice truck. Beautiful truck. Very nice truck. Yeah. What's up with the white one? Are we selling that? Which one? No, he wants, we're doing like service work. Oh, okay. I thought he was talking about selling it. He was, kinda, and then I don't think he is now. Seller's remorse. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is like a lot of these guys that sell their trucks, that it, you can tell when they're like on the fence or you, their personality, they're gonna eventually regret it. Oh yeah. Like with, could be within days or months or a year. But we have, we have a lot of return customers that come back and buy additional trucks after they sell their, their truck, so. It happens a lot. All right, cool, what else we got? Prepping for paint right there. Yeah, this thing's getting stripped down and then it'll be sent over to the paint shop. Get painted. Getting it dialed in. Duramax conversion's done. Hopefully in, what, two, three weeks we'll have paint work done on it. Right. Then accessories. Roy's working on the interior right now. The seats are really nice. Right. Check them out. Yeah, let's go up there. Jerry just had to run off to a customer. Yeah, he's got some seats here. All in process, you can kind of see it a little bit better in the lighting here. It has that marble cowboy essence to it. Yeah, definitely. It has that, uh, what's that, King Ranch Ford kind of feel to it. It looks good though, it looks really good. But check out like the stitching on here, how straight it is. But more importantly, like if you guys are thinking about reupholstering your seats and if you're gonna do it somewhere else, what you should really do is make sure whoever's doing that refoams them. So this is the original foam here, and then this is where Roy comes in, and this is not done yet, but you can see the layers of foam that he builds up over time, and then eventually, right now it has three layers of foam on here, and he has different density foam. He's got more foam down here, but then he starts shaping it, and then eventually starts sanding it. So he's already started sanding a little bit here, but then eventually this thing will all look just like this, reupholster it, and uh, you can kind of build up like however you want to with it. So he went for kind of a little bit fuller look and a nice radius here. So when you're sitting on the seat, has a nice edge to it, all refoamed, absolutely beautiful. He still needs to do the, the top here. 
Even these guys are refoamed. So he does like a little topper foam on here. He doesn't like the original foam being hard up here on your head. So he has a topper, like a little thin topper foam up here that you can kind of see right here. See that? And that layer gives it like a real soft like touch to it. And then it's firm underneath it. A ton of work in here. Um, Ooh. Off the fab? Yeah, what's going on the fab? You don't sound too on. excited. No, no, I am. I just, I don't know what's going on back there. <laughs> <laughs> So we got, what's up man? I'm Ryan. Ryan. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you man. Yeah, you too. Yeah, so we were talking about, we got two Dylans, two Brians, and a Ryan. So we're all fucked up here. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. I yeah, yeah. Work here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, good meeting you. Yeah, Welcome right. aboard. So Dylan's getting Brian set up and running. A little training there. Got Noah, car trouble today. Noah's I don't out. See anybody there. Car troubles. No. You weren't listening. The mic was listening though. The mic heard it, the viewers heard it, but. You were had your back to me, I could hear you. Yeah. Uh, getting this bumper cleaned up. It's gonna go to powder coat tomorrow. We have pickup days, two days a week. What's up, Lise? How you doing? Good, okay, bro, how you doing? Morning, morning. So Lise is getting the six foot roof rack dialed in. in Can't see it, but. Right here, see this wire that comes through here? So this actually comes over here. We have these guys pre-wired. There's a little hole right here, drops down and goes through here. Everything on this, on this rack is pre-wired. So you got lights going on there. You run it internally on the rack, it looks super clean. And the key to it is to do it before powder coat. So you get it done before powder coat. You don't have to come in afterwards and do drill holes and all that stuff. This is for our rear frack. So this guy gets mounted right here, right? And then this guy comes into the jig like this, gets mounted on here and welded out. So you got the other roof rack feet that go in place as well. Um, but gives you the idea of how this, this jig works. So we get the whole rail designed, built out right here in the jig. And then it goes into that larger jig that sets up the expansion part in between and gets it all dialed. Guy's a badass fabricator for sure. All right, so shoot, I think that's it. We're back to where we were at a few minutes ago when I was scrolling off out here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back to what? Be we careful. Went over that's what I just said. We're back to where we started from where I scrolled off over here. I'm getting kind of hungry. Dude, I'm hungry too. This drug on and on is filming today. I know, but I'm getting hungry. I want to go. Let's go. I'll be the backwoods chilling on a mountain high. Fish fry, fast slice of American.